I think they're going to the river that they all loved. I told my father I was putting his in. He was good with that. We still have probably half of him in the box at, at the bar at Vaughn's where we can sit him on the table to watch Saints games and buy him a screwdriver. Yeah, the, all the others are in the same place, except for John Sipos. He's uh, in a go-cup in the kitchen, waiting to be put in. The culture is just different here, you know, the Big Easy. It's just, it's a very laissez-faire attitude. It's just not an uptight place. It, originally, we would just go to Canal Street and watch Rex, and then we started doing this whole ritual where we would then go to the river afterwards, and anybody who had died, we would throw their ashes in. So it was a time when a lot of people were dying of AIDS. And some of our best friends were dropping like flies. We needed a, a way to honor them. Laughter is the only cure for grief, and I believe that love is stronger than death. Here, here. Yeah. It's life and death. It is the bringer of life through death. Um, everything that, that dies in the sediment breeds all the biggest estuaries in the whole world. It, it makes what we know as New Orleans. It, it makes the place what it is. We're here on, on, on the alluvial plain. And there are no rocks, there are no hard places. It's all very fluid. It's beautiful. I mean, it's so beautiful with them dipping the streamers in the river and flicking them back and anointing everybody that's on the steps going down. Not, not just the people putting ashes, everybody. So you might get wet. <laughs> you're laughing and it's funny and you're drinking and then all of a sudden you go to do the toss and you get choked up. And when you throw something in, it's connected to everything and it goes everywhere in the world eventually. I want somebody to put me in the river on Mardi Gras day with some glitter. I'm going to end up everywhere. <laughs>